Hi folks, this is Tracy, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these, uh, what we're calling baby button earrings. They use tiny little mother of pearl shank buttons. The real tricky cool part about these earrings is the way we are achieving the different lengths on the dangles. We're actually using three different sizes of head pin, so you don't have to measure. We're just going to put loops on the end, so we've got um, one inch, one and a half inch, and two inch head pins for each earring, um, a set of ear wires, We've got some 9mm jump rings, the little baby buttons we're using, although you could achieve the same design just with any, any glass beads. Um, and then we're going to embellish a little bit with some 11 0 seed beads. So to get started, we're just going to put what we want to have on our little head pins. And we did three buttons on the long one. You wouldn't have to do them the exact same way. Like I said, the cool part of this project is the fact that you don't have to measure. So I'm going to do the three on the longest one, and I'm taking my round nose pliers, and I'm going to start at the very end of my head pin and curl until it touches like that but we want to stand it up straight so I'm gonna come back in here and grab on the opposite side and stand it up so that we have a centered loop and really you're just gonna repeat this for every head pin for the one and a half inch, we did a seed bead, a button, and three more seed beads. For the short one, we did three seed beads, a button, and one seed bead. But like I said, you could do as little or as much on each head pin as you like. So I'm going to go ahead and finish um, doing all the tops of my head pins, and then I'm going to show you how to put the earring together. Okay, so I've assembled all my little dangles. And all that's left to do is put my earring together. And you're going to just repeat this so that you have two. But I'm going to take two pairs of chain nose pliers and open my jump ring. So I'll grab on either side of the slit and twist open. And then you're just going to feed all of your little dangles on there. It doesn't really matter which order you put them in. You might want to put them in the same order on each earring so they're a little more matchy. And then don't forget to put your ear wire on as well. And you're just going to twist back together. And you're all done. They're really fast and would make a great gift.